Okay, I've been asked this lovely question on Kundalini. Um, and many years ago, I didn't have any spiritual experiences, and then I had a near-death spiritual experience facing kidney failure. And then I was given a DVD of a guy called Dr. David R. Hawkins. And after that first near-death spiritual experience, when I was given this DVD, I felt this tingling up the spine, which I later found out was, was a, a Kundalini experience. Uh, I then went on a long spiritual journey, did like things like Reiki, spiritual healing, and all, all, all the things you get involved in. Usually most spiritual seekers go through all of that. So, when you're, so I was at a very low spiritual level, working in the stock market, thinking about myself, very fat, inflated ego, lots of addictions. And then to suddenly have that near-death spiritual experience, and then given a DVD of an enlightened teacher, and have this tingling up the spine. So what happens is, you know, if you've, got, if you've got a very fat, inflated ego, let's pretend it's a big fat plane, lots of repressed feelings, lots of numbing out on donuts, TV, work, whatever it is, all that thing, then it's like, uh, you could say, we, we classically say there's the seven chakras, yeah, base chakra right up to the crown chakra, right down. So when you've done no spiritual work, you're, you're you know, you're probably blocked all the way up. You haven't, you're spiritual energy hasn't cleared through all the chakras yet. You haven't got a clear channel to remove all the gunk. You know, like we say, like you might know, maybe the sexual chakra. So you've got lots of uh, ideas and belief systems based on fear and separation, the sexual chakra, in the power chakra, in the heart chakra. All of these things are blocked. Spiritual energy cannot move up these things because you've never done any spiritual work. Or I shouldn't say you, I hadn't done any spiritual work. I was just into materialism and ego inflation and success and consumption. So everything was blocked up. So suddenly being open to spiritual experience and then being given a DVD of an enlightened teacher, suddenly it was like I had been exposed to illusory ideas. In terms of, let's say, the course. My whole life is if you're successful, that, that's the purpose of life. If you can be successful, if you can get uh, a successful looking life. I thought now, I didn't have any Kundalini while pursuing all these things I was interested in. Don, not, um, yes, Donald Trump, funny enough. He was, before he was, you know, this is controversial, I shouldn't get into this. <laughs> but he, was, he, was, he was a property guy who was making lots of money before what recent events. We're talking like 20, 30 years ago. So Warren Buffett, you know, uh, George Soros, uh, these were all the, the big money makers of the time. So I'd be into that. So no Kundalini, because this is all about egotism. This is about materialism. Those are the books. I was in, working in the stock market. So I never felt anything. I had no, no spiritual experiences. But suddenly I was facing, all this took me to the gates of death. And then I was being exposed to, material, to spiritual teachings, like Dr. Hawkins is a teacher of enlightenment. You know, how to clear your ego away. And so suddenly I was getting, it was like being exposed to the truth you know, suddenly like things start to wake up in the spiritual energy fields. And you start to, it's like your body almost is like being like an indicator that you're finally, your spiritual system, or if you're like the acupuncture, we know the meridians and the energy lines and the chakras, all of this is starting to be lighted up. Like it's almost like, you know, for me it was also not only are you starting to clear things and it, only your spiritual system is like, a, is like a radio signal saying, do this, this will give you life because you clear your chakras out, your energy lines, your meridians will start to open up, your chi will start to flow, and you'll clear out all your energy lines. So that's, that's the thing. And, and then, uh, you know, as you start to do spiritual work, you know, like uh, The Course in Miracles, or forgiveness work, automatically you'll be clearing the blocks through all your chakras, and the energy will automatically rise up. Now, I mean, um, this, I'm going to say something controversial, but Dr. Hawkins is my teacher, and he, he recommends, I'm just going to say what he does, he's more advanced than me, he recommends not to force the Kundalini. But he says, like, when you do spiritual work, it naturally goes up in accordance with your spiritual work. You know, if you, um, if you like, try and shoot up the Kundalini too fast when you haven't done the spiritual work, 
it can have unwelcome side effects. Mm. You know, I, I mean, I tend to, I mean, I tend to agree with him. Mm. So just doing the Course in Miracles, just doing forgiveness work, your Kundalini will actually naturally, at the right rate, will gradually start to clear. And sometimes you'll have, when you have big awakenings, you feel it tingling up and you've done something big or you've cleared a big block and you feel that it's like a good reward. But even if you do A Course in Miracles every day, it is gradually clearing everything up, you see, out of the thing. So it's just a very welcome sign that you're on, on, on the right track.